this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccups, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Gavin the Trailblazer Holland. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. 
Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Big power shot there. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Nice one, two there. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Medal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, you heard about the jab. Nice punch by Numago Medal. Big head kick land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Hit him first. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one up. He loaded up on that right hand, too. him again with a flush left hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. That's a big strike right there. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range though with it. is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Misses with that punch. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hand. Outstanding kick there by Dermazo Meadow. Nice kick. These guys are good. Man. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice punch land. Gets hit by that kick to the body. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. 
right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because of... And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement to that up the play. Ooh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictates the face of his opponent. Lands with the right hand. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Nermago Meadow. Good. Keep the pressure on him. Just misses there with the left. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. Good punch lands. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find himself in the pocket. Great punch. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. right hand is true. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he's... Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Nice. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, he goes to the uppercut and he lands to the head. He lands a beautiful uppercut right as he comes in close. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shots. That's incoming. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Able to check the high kick. Straight right is there. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Wow. Right now, we 
take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good stick. Nurmagomedov going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off it. Nice straight there by Nurmagomedov. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Straight punch lands. Nurmagomedov's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Nurmago Medov. the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 35 seconds of round number three. He's going to win by knockout, Kevin the Trailblazer! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party.